Well, hello there, YouTube, and thank you for joining me once again, and welcome to the Word Works Ministries. Uh, I want to talk to today on two different classes of people, or two different kind of people, or however you classify it. One is uh, single people, all single people, and two all married men. We're going to be looking in the book of Genesis. So get your Bible and turn to the book of Genesis chapter 2. And you probably know where I'm going. But in the meantime, while you find Genesis chapter 2, I just wanted to uh, encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's in red letters. Hit the word subscribe on the right corner of your screen. And then hit the little bell. And anytime I post something, you will get a notification of it. So do you have Genesis chapter 2? <laughs> Genesis chapter 2 and look at verse 18. And it reads, And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. Now, let's back up and let's talk to the married men first. And uh, reading the scripture over. And the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help. Stop right there. I will make him and help. Married men, attention, 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 all married men, you have help. Now, whether she's functioning in her calling field position, y'all, mm, y'all. Y'all can work that out. But I want to say, well, let me do this. Women, if you are, tell, no, no, no. Men, show this video to your wife. <laughs> to the wives, if you are not functioning as his help, if you are not building him up, if you are tearing him down, stop it, stop it, stop it. And build, build, build. Build that man up. Okay, back to the married men. I will make him and help. Now, I want to talk to the married men that do not utilize their help. I want to talk to the married men that completely disregard the things that their wives say. I want to address the married men that don't ask their wives opinion about anything. I want to talk to the married, I want to say to the married men that ignore their wives and just dismiss them. Stop it, stop it, stop it. God gave you help. Number one, why would God do such a thing? Mm, let's see. He knew you would need it. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Men, it does not make you less than a man. To get help. Actually, now, let me tell you something. If you want to look good in your wife's eye, if you want to look good to her, if you want to be lifted up, listen to the woman. If you want to go in the right direction, listen to the woman. 
And we, we, you know, that's with the hopes and the prayer that she's a God, that she's giving you godly advice or good advice or speaking words of wisdom. I know there are some women out there that will persuade you to go in the wrong direction. I'm not talking about that. Don't listen to that. But I'm talking about, man, if she tell you, you about to back into the garbage can, <laughs> give her the benefit of the doubt. Get out and look and just make sure if, if you know, if, well, do it in a way that you, you know what, now, matter of fact, don't even do that because that would be not trusting her judgment or whatever. Just pull up and move over. <laughs> I mean, it's simple. And it makes her feel good on the inside. It makes her look at you in a in a good way. Man, you got, I mean, there's so much that you have right there in your home that you are not utilizing. You know, she told you not to buy that house in the first place. That's why you're having all those problems with it. Anyway, <laughs> on to the single people. Um, <laughs> if you are single, um, and you're a man looking to find a wife or a woman looking to be found by a husband, um, I want to submit to you something that I feel like is hard for us humans to do. Don't look at the outside. Don't look at the physical appearance of the person. You know how ladies, let's, let me talk to the single ladies. You know how we do. Okay, God, I want him to be tall. I want him to be chocolate. <laughs> And I want him to have muscles and no, whatever. You don't say muscles. He got to have a six pack. <laughs> and what else? He got to have a good job, which that's good. Now that's good. I'm just saying this is some things that we say, okay, God, I want him to have lots of money and, and, um, he need at least wear a size 12 shoe. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just the physical. We go to God with the physical characteristics of what we are looking for. And that's understandable because we're human and we look at the outside. But I want to say to you, stop it, stop it, stop it. Don't look at the physical appearance. So what is missing a couple of teeth? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Take him to the dentist. Yes, that's a good one. Duh. Anyway. Um, <laughs> and I know that I've always heard that men are visual. And there's, there's certain parts of a woman's body that a man likes and all this stuff. All that. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying when you're looking for a forever mate, don't look at that. Rather yet, let me tell you what to look for. Well, let me tell you what I did. I had this list. I was, I had this list of everything I want. I mean, I had do's and don'ts. I don't want him to do this and I do want him to do that. I mean, I'm talking about, I had a couple of pages. Okay, so I got to the point that I got frustrated with all of my do's and my don'ts and what I wanted him to look like and what I want and this and that and the other. And I balled it up and I threw it away. And I wrote simply, God, give me who I need. <laughs> and then I said, now while I am waiting, ladies, while I am waiting on him to find me, I am going to work on myself. 
I'm going to make myself better or or whatever. And I got frust frustrated with that. And then I wrote simply, God help me. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> I said, God help me to be the kind of wife that makes him break all of the traffic laws getting home to me. <laughs> oh, thank you, God. And I'm crying tears of joy because y'all, <laughs> I think I've been found. <laughs> But anyway, back to what, back to the point that I'm making, what I want you to look for is, and let's go back to verse 18. And I want to take those last three words. I want you to look for the meat for him. And that word meat, M-E-E-T, it means suitable, fitting, proper. Look for the person that is meat for you. Look for the person that is suitable for you. Look for the person that's fitting for you. The per person that is proper for you. It may not come in the package that you are looking for. Matter of fact, I would venture to say that eight, eight times out of 10, it will not come in the package that you are looking for. Um, I know, well, I don't want to speak. I don't want to speak too, too. I don't want to say too much about that. But anyway, it, it, it's very, well, it's very well possible that it will not come in the package that you are looking for. Stop looking at the physical. Know that person's spirit. Know that person's spirit. Stop looking for the physical and start looking for the suitable. I love you and thank you again for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe. And guess what? As always, remember, God loves you.